everybody's talking about plant-based proteins at the IFT show this year, but which ones have the most potential and why? One new entrant to the market is Parabel, which is working with the water lentil, part of the duckweed family. Yes, this is a water lentil. It's the world's smallest flowering plant. It's got very high levels of protein in it, and the protein as such is a complete protein, and it has higher essential amino acids levels than any other plant protein, including soy. It's a light green powder, and it's uh, got 65% uh, protein in it, and a lot of other micro and macronutrients. But we also have a prototype of the degreen version that we're going to make, and we also have an isolate on the go for at 90%, so it'll be easier for people to formulate with. Another new entrant to the market is Hinnaman, which is working with another aquatic plant that can be harvested continuously. Hinnaman is producing the mankai, and mankai is a strain of a duckweed, high in protein, 45 to 48 percent, and rich in vitamin A, vitamin E's, all the B's, a lot of minerals, iron, calcium, etc. We either sell it fresh or in its dry form. It's a very fine powder. It's green, it's unprocessed, non-GMO, it has very low carb, very low sodium. It has no allergens because it's a leaf and not a seed. But what might give these new products the edge over some of the other more established plant-based proteins? OK, so we have a cold process system at the moment. So the protein stays uh, soluble. And so it's very useful in, in beverages. People say that it's got a really nice mouthfeel. It's got a small little foaming uh, quality to it. But it can also be used in bars and in other dry mixed goods like other snacks. We have a, a plant here that reproduces itself in 24 hours, which means that you can harvest every day, which translates into the highest yield per hectare of any other crop. The fact that you can supply such a great quantity means that we don't have a difficult price range. We grow this water lentil in an aqua farm and we recycle 98% of the water. It translates into a use of water that's very, very low compared to even other plant proteins, but obviously against animal protein. Everybody's looking for isolate, concentrate, whatever, all of the chemical processes, the additive, the excipients. We look at the whole plant, the plant is actually leading the way and not our chemical processes that we're leading. We do believe that we will enable us to reach more than 50% in the future of protein in a non-GMO process. And the most important part is that we have the flavor is very mild and less than spinach. So if we're looking from the vegetable side to the algae, we can replace any algae just for the flavor of it. We have a very specific strain compared to the competition that makes duckweed, which is a mix of all kinds of duckweeds, we have a special uh, strain that we know how to treat, we know how to manage it, and we know how to control the ins and the outs. Therefore, we know how to make a consistent product without having to concentrate or isolate it.